Welcome. My name is Eva Helps, and I am an application engineer at Silo Design Solutions and part of the tech and support team here. Uh, today we're going to just take a look at Project Explorer and kind of how it works a little bit with the pipe networks and pressure, pressure pipes. Just kind of an overview of some tips and tricks maybe you didn't know that you could do right inside of that Project Explorer. Every version uh, that comes out of Simple 3D, it seems like there's more functionality inside that Project Explorer, and it kind of gives you a good overview of all your civil data and your AAC data and just how you can manipulate, make reports, and get a good understanding of what all is inside your drawing and what you can do with it. So we're going to go over to the Home tab here on this Explorer panel and select the Project Explorer, and that will pop here. Here we go. And if you're not familiar with the Project Explorer, you see it has all this data up here. You know, it has the um, alignments, it has your assemblies, your surface, uh, pressure pipes, and all of this data that you can look at, have an overview of, edit in some circumstances, and just kind of manage from this one dialog box here. So like I mentioned, we're going to take a look at the pipe networks. You'll see inside this drawing, we have a sanitary and storm. I'm just going to go ahead and select this storm pipe network. We'll pull this little bar up here so we have a better look at inside that storm network. So you can see we have some structures here. We have our pipes on this tab. And it even shows your pipe runs that you have. And you'll notice on the pipes and pipe runs here, you have this, um, some of these are highlighted red. So when you hover over those, it gives you a quick notification, hey, you're violating one of your rules that you have set up for this, for these pipes. So right off the bat, you can see how convenient it is looking at the whole system rather than going through and selecting the different pipes or in your tool space going that route shows all right up here in front of you so you can kind of get an overview and see what you need to do to adjust that. If we hop over to the structures tab here, you'll see that we have all these structures listed and the description and um, all the information that comes along with those. If you scroll across the bottom here, you'll see all of the magenta colored cells here are editable. And we're going to go ahead and say you wanted to swap apart. You see that you want to double check that you're going to be selecting the correct uh, structure here. So if you want, you can go ahead and right click on any one of these structures. Go ahead and zoom to that part inside the AutoCAD view. And move this little dialog box here and you can see it zoom right to that part so you can double check inside your design that you are in fact changing out the right structure that you wanted to swap out. So after you zoom to it, uh, again, do that right click in the menu. You see there's a number of options here. We're just going to take a look at how to swap that part. So we're going to go to swap parts. And you'll see it brings up all of the parts here inside of your drawing. And we're going to go ahead and swap this, let's just say, for a store manhole. Say you wanted to move that off the curb and make it into a manhole. Select OK. And right there it automatically updates not only inside your drawing all the information across here um, just a really easy way to swap parts and you can even do say you want to do all of these change them to manholes you can do multiple parts at one time again just by right clicking selecting that swap part selecting that part you indeed want to swap to and go ahead and zoom to these and you can see that they have been changed to manholes as well. So you could do the same thing here for your sanitary network. Uh, again, take a look at everything. You'll see there are multiple violations here of your rules. May or may not pertain to the specific design you're doing. Those rules, depending on how you set them up, whether they're general or rules overall, and maybe for this design you have a little more leeway, or if it's something specific you set up 
for this project, then you can take a look and and see not only that the rule is violated, but again, that little tooltip pop up there. If you hover over, uh, the maximum pipe length in this case is what has been violated. So just a little quick look inside of the pipe network inside the Project Explorer and some of the tools you can utilize in there if you want to change your design. If you decided you wanted to reference the surface in there, you could select your structure, double click on the magenta reference surface, and you can see, oh, you know what, actually I do want it to reference the design road surface area. Maybe you're moving that manhole out into the road. Make sure that everything works out there. So again, just an easy way to utilize the Project Explorer and make those changes, design changes, or even just have an overview of what's going on inside of your network. While inside here, if you decide you do want to make some different changes, say, oh, these are violating the minimum pipe slope of 1%. It's violated by 0.02%. We'll say you wanted to change that rule right inside of here. You can always right click on this, go down to your pipe properties, and you can edit. Oh, let me drag that to the right screen here. And you can edit those pipe properties inside of here, including the rule set itself. So editing maximum length, minimum length, cover, and slope. And to be repetitive, but again, just a great way to see the whole pipe network at a glance using those rules and making sure the structures and pipes and pipe sizes and things like that are what you want and being able to change multiple ones rather than going throughout the drawing the pipes you could go in there and again you can swap the parts and say you wanted to change that out to you know realize you needed a larger pipe for that pipe flow after you did some analysis you can go ahead and change that whole pipe or even the pipe run all with with inside the Project Explorer here. So just a quick view overview there of some ways to edit your design and manipulate that pipe network inside the Project Explorer. If you have any further questions about this, maybe you need some training on it, feel free to reach out to Siler Design Solutions. You can email me at ehelps at siler-ds.com or the whole CAD technical team at CAD technical at silerinst.com. Feel free to check out our other blogs if you hop on to siler-ds.com and find more information there, not only on the blogs, but other ways to reach out to us as well. So have a great day and thanks for listening.